Okay, you guys, so I forgot to show y'all the hair. And this is the hair right here. You know, I should got a little thing up here because I was trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Because I'm tired of like doing the middle part, side part, whatever. But this is a five by five. So I pretty much want to do a middle part, but I'm going to put a little something to it. So yeah, this is her right here. She real soft, you know. Yeah, I might add some more curls to it. I don't like too much of the neat stuff, so I don't know. I like it like this for some reason, but I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet, but yeah, this is her right here. So yeah. Okay, so y'all, before I go ahead and start talking, I wanted to show y'all my blow dryer. Oh my God, it's a new blow dryer that I have and I love it. It's black and gold. Like, I really love it. I got it for my birthday. Okay, so y'all, excuse this. You know, my braids ain't straight, but they will do, okay? So, what I like to do first before I go ahead and start talking about how I became a hair promoter. So, when I put my cap on, I do do the ball, like the ball cap method sometimes. But when I'm real lazy, I just put this on because it's just like the same pretty much. But, um... I put on a cap that's my skin tone pretty much and it blends so much better. I mean, I will use the, if I don't have this, I will use like, you know, the other ones and use foundation, but to make it easier on myself, I find a cap like my skin tone. So, so I'm gonna use this cap right here. That's more like closer to my skin tone, like a little closer to my skin tone. But then again, it's like real thin. It's real thin, so I don't even know if I wanna. Yeah. Okay, y'all, so I got my cap on and now I'm about to use some foundation and this is the foundation that I'm using. And then this is the number. So I'm just gonna put it, I'm not gonna put it all over simply because it's a five by five. So I'm not gonna put the foundation everywhere. With this method, you know, I feel like it's just more like easier to be honest, especially like if I'm in a rush, not saying I'm in a rush now, but I just do this to make it easier on myself. Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna tell you all how I became a hair promoter while, you know, I put my wig and stuff on. So I got so I got tired of um, waiting, you know, on different videos and stuff I did to be done because either, you know, he wasn't feeling it or, you know, we would just, you know, it was just too much. So what I did was like, I was thinking like, what else I can do, you know, on YouTube by myself. So what I did was basically made it my channel. That's what I did. So with that being said, I made a YouTube channel, my channel, and I was up here trying to debate like what should I do like I don't do makeup none of that stuff like that I don't do you know other stuff that people were doing but you know I still wanted to do like the pranks the challenges and stuff like that on YouTube so I was just like your girl do hair so why not do your hair on YouTube and not thinking your girl always watch YouTube with other YouTubers doing their hair like so that's what I did. Hold on. So yeah, that's what I did. And that's what I'm doing now. So my first video I ever did on my channel was like by myself as a hair video. I did a, I want to say it was the, the closure sew-in video. I think that was it. Yeah, the closure sew-in video. So I did a closure sew-in on my head and that was something like I know how to do. I can do braids and stuff like that, but that was something like, you know, that's what I was aiming for. Like, 
the hair. Cause I, then again, I was thinking like, how do everybody get here? Like, and stuff like that. So I was just like, let me do some YouTube videos on, um, you know, me doing my hair or whatever. And the hair that I did have, you know, it was no, it was no man. Like it was hair, like for me, it was hair for me when I was selling hair. So y'all, I'm not gonna turn the blow dryer on, but I'm just gonna let it dry. So what I did was I did that video then I did a what I do I think I did a quick weave in my I think I did a I did a glue in in my hair like I think I did a glue in whatever you want to call it I don't know I think it was like a quick weave glue in whatever I did that in my hair and I had bought some hair from the beauty supply store and it was a 30 inch and you know I did that so then the next video what really got me the next video was I did some twist in my hair like the rubber band method and then i did the twist and that's what really got it like that video hit twenty three thousand views on it and um i don't know like me me i was not you know checking my emails and nothing like that even though they'll pop up on my phone but these emails was in my spam so some one day some just told me you know check my spam so I checked my spam and I had like probably like five companies reaching out to me and was like, you know, can I do, you know, hair videos or whatever for their, um, for their wigs or whatever, you know, promote their hair or whatever. So I ain't gonna lie y'all. So I would say like my first two videos that I did, um, did after that twist, the, my first two videos that those collabs were free those collabs was free because it was just like i'm just starting out like i'm getting free hair you know i do it for free you know but after that baby <laughs> ain't no more free ain't no more nothing and i feel as though like once you once they reached out to me i feel like they reached out to me because they seen that i was getting you know an audience so that that's one reason why too like i i don't i don't feel like if you're not getting the views that you should i don't think they will too much reach out because it's just like they're giving you free hair you're promoting it but who's seeing it like who's seeing it so what are they benefiting off that from sending you free hair and paying you at that so that's how i took it as too so um i was getting super excited so when i start after after each video even to this day if I drop a hair video, I constantly have hair companies in my DMs, hair companies in my DMs or whatever. Um, but my first two collabs was free. Um, but y'all, after that, I had to start making that money because it was just like, you know, a lot of them started hitting me up and I'm just like, I need, you know, I need to go ahead and make my money off of this. So, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, not, I'm gonna tell y'all how much like I started off charging these um, companies, but I'm not gonna tell y'all how much I charge them now, cause yeah. Um, so after those two, I probably like a couple more I had did that was not free, but I did charge them like $200. <laughs> I charged them $200 for a video and some people will say that's not bad, you know, if you get in the views and stuff like that, but hair companies will negotiate with you. Oh, can we do it for free? Can we do No. Can we get a discount? No. Like, what one, one company I did, you know, I was just like, um, you know, I was like, okay, that's cool or whatever, you know. But discounts don't work all the time with me. I gotta be in a good mood like okay we can do a discount but now i don't do any discounts i don't at all just know like it's it's triple digits it, even though it's not so it's more than 200 that i charge them now like that's i'm doing that no 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 i'm not doing that but i would say Coming hair promoter, I say you need to be consistent and definitely being a hair promoter, it will keep you consistent on YouTube because these people gonna keep sending you hair and then they come with rules of what they want you to do and you got this amount of time to do it, all this other stuff like that, post pictures, tag them, all that other stuff like that. So it's basically like another job. So if you really want to stay consistent on YouTube, so I would definitely say y'all like 
I would definitely say, you know, definitely do it. And it's not all about hair either because you got a lot of people out here. You got a lot of stuff now, like you ain't even got to do hair. You can promote clothes. You can promote a lot of stuff. So, yeah. You can promote clothes. You can promote a lot of stuff, y'all. So, it's not even just hair. So, there's that. And then even now, like, uh, hair companies is not the only thing that hit me up. Like, recently, I just got my, um, because I always want the promote clothes, too. Like, who don't want free clothes, baby? Dang. But, y'all, the, um, I got my very first email on collabing with, um, I'm not going to say who, but, you know, promoting clothes or whatever. So, I'm super excited about that. So, now I'm just waiting on it to come. But, y'all, yeah, super excited about that. Um, what else can I say? I would say just if you want to become a hair promoter, I would definitely say do what you like to do. Not even just hair promoting because if you want to be a hair promoter or any promoter, promoting clothes, promoting anything, anybody, brand, do it. Just do it. Don't just sit there and think it's going to just... Uh, emails is gonna pop out the sky and I did not and <laughs> this let y'all know I did not reach out to these people I'm not gonna reach out to anybody nobody for no hair collab no nothing no because if they like my work they like what I do they reach out to me and that's what they did don't reach out to them you know I mean it's up to you if you want to reach out to them hey that's cool but me personally I wouldn't reach out to them you know if they like really like what you do and they see that you got that you know that audience and stuff like that then then you know hey they reach out to me but as I was saying if you want to promote anything to be honest um definitely do it like i was saying if you want to promote hair go ahead and do that do your hair now i'm not saying hold on if you don't know how to do hair just just don't go out here trying to do that okay do something that you know how to do don't don't, don't just come out here and do that but anyway if you want to be a hair promoter you do somebody here do your hair you know and stay consistent with it they will notice you i promise you they will they will notice you like they will notice you pretty much um but any other stuff like i watch other youtube videos and stuff like that and it's people that promote a lot of stuff rather than hair if you want to start promoting stuff and making that money then do what you love to do period that's what you need to do because hair is what I love to do and I love hair I love bundles I love all that other stuff like that and look I do this I do this on YouTube now okay that's pretty much how I came a hair promoter they mailed me um I emailed them back they asked for my information I you know tell them how much I charge and you know they agree with it and they won't agree with it it's a lot of companies that will not take how much it is or whatever but you know some of them will try to get out from giving you that you your money or whatever what i do is i don't drop no video i don't drop no video until i get my money and that's that oh even though i be wanting to just go ahead and drop the videos but it's just like i ain't got paid for this yet so <laughs> but anyways y'all like yeah that's pretty much how i came a hair promoter so if you really want to come a hair promoter do that you know do that it definitely it's definitely worth it it saves a lot of money if you love hair i promise you it will save a lot of money a lot of money I promise you like me i did not want to buy hair that was not gonna work for me i did not want to buy any type of hair whatsoever so yeah y'all like that was that's that on uh, and then also 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 if it will no lie it will get you know frustrating to be honest because some days i just be like oh my god i just put this wig on i gotta do another wig and then you will have wigs come back to back like that's 
the part of being a hair promoter like then it's just like some promoters they want you to do it on your head you know like some i would do on my um like i do on other people head, but some companies like they'll be like you know they just want it on my head which is totally fine but it's just like with me i'm like i just put this wig on my head i gotta put another wig on my head back. oh yeah y'all um that is pretty much how you know your girl became a hair promoter i got that email boom but uh yeah that's pretty much it so yeah, if y'all wanna be a hair promoter, go ahead and do that. If you wanna promote anything else, go ahead and do that. Like, it's not even, you know, all about hair. It's about other things too. Like, I definitely wanted to promote hair and do clothes. And I haven't did no clothing haul. I did record a clothing haul, but I just haven't posted it yet. But I'm super excited because a clothing company had reached out to me like, you know, let's work and can we send you a wig like i'm like what even somebody with contacts somebody with contacts but i didn't want to do the contacts because i already wear contacts because your girl blind so i didn't do that because i don't want to mess up nothing nothing else with these eyes so yeah so y'all that was it you know about you know how i came a hair promoter so i'm just gonna let y'all continue to watch me finish my hair and yeah that would be that keep watching You win.